And with that, let's check back in with meteorologist Robert Sir. And Robert, holding off on that summer heat as long as possible, which begs the question how long we had this mild warmth going here. I think a couple more days. This is a very rare backdoor cold front that kind of snuck in over the past couple of days, really dried our air out, cleared out all that rain, and really feel, made it feel like early spring as opposed to late spring. Remember, meteorological summer is June 1st, and that starts next Thursday. There's a live look outside. No matter where you look across the entire region, it's absolutely gorgeous uh, outside. There's a look at Fayetteville as well as Table Rock Lake. Look at all the boats enjoying the water. A lot of people may be hitting the lakes out there uh, for the first time this year. Finally have time to uncover the boat, take it out to one of our many, many lakes and enjoy the pleasant weather. Springdale also nice and quiet, not a cloud in the sky. Temperatures for your neighborhood in northwest Arkansas, upper 70s on average. We do have a few lower 80s as well. It looks like the warm spot is 81 in Gravit as well as in Prairie Grove, River Valley, widespread lower 80s. But really, no, nothing to complain about because with how dry the air is, it actually probably feels a degree or two colder than the actual air temperature shows. Now, big picture still have this a stubborn boundary that's been parked across eastern Colorado, Wyoming into New Mexico and every single day we get these daytime heating showers and thunderstorms. So those folks now there are some drought areas out here, so they need the rain. The big story is this uh, area of low pressure sitting off uh, Charleston, South Carolina that continues to throw tons of Atlantic moisture back up onto uh, the Carolinas into portions of Georgia, just totally ruining a beach weekend. Uh, for those folks in the southeast. Now for us, we'll be nice and quiet as we go through the rest of the night. Nothing to really worry about. We could see one or two locations tomorrow morning, possibly dipping into the upper 40s yet again. We'll have a little bit more in, in the way of cloud cover for our Sunday, but that's it. I mean, that's the worst of the weather is the cloud cover. Uh, still comfortable temperatures, winds light out of the north and the east, and it's going to be another fabulous day. And even Monday looks great if you're headed out to a parade or any other Memorial Day festivities, really nothing to worry about. Lows tonight, about where they should be for this time of the year. We'll be in the mid to upper 50s and we'll rebound tomorrow. Another great, pleasant day, lower to mid 80s across Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. There's the extended forecast, which really does not feature a lot of rain chances. Now the humidity will start to come back up as we get toward the end of the week. We'll start to see more in the way of those typical daytime heating afternoon pop up storms, maybe Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, but really nothing that's too bad. River Valley about the same thing. If you're headed to Old Fort days, no problem. And then a couple of showers possible Wednesday and maybe Thursday and Friday. Stay with us. We are going to check the sports world right after the break.